from Santa Clara, California, it's theCUBE, covering Technovation World Pitch Summit 2019. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Now, here's Sonia Tagari. World Pitch Summit 2019, a pitch competition in which girls from around the world develop mobile apps in order to create positive change in the world. With us today, we have Sydney Ho from Team Uproot. So your app, Uproot, tell us more about that. Um, so Uproot is an app kind of in the field of ag tech. We uh, work to target noxious and invasive weeds in agriculture because what happens is um, noxious weeds often outcompete crops for nutrients and farmers don't know what's going on sometimes. So Uproot helps farmers identify weeds um, by using a neural network and we also have um, monitoring services like mappings for tracking uh, weeds over time. So we're basically delivering an integrated solution to help farmers manage uh, noxious weeds on their, their farms. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, so, um, so can you tell us more about how it works? Um, so we have basically three uh, components. So there's the identification feature where we, uh, you can scan uh, plants in real time using your phone's camera and it basically analyzes the image and tells you what kind of plants it is and if it's harmful or not. Um, we've got kind of an educational feature as well. So once a plant's been identified, uh, basically the app returns a bunch of information about that plant. Is it harmful? How severe is it? Um, how, is, how should you best control that plant? Um, and then you've got the whole monitoring uh, feature. So that includes tracking uh, weeds, pinpointing them on a map so that you can track them over time and manage them. Wow. Yeah. And how did you come up with this idea? Um, I, had, I had this brief exposure with this company called Kisan. They're a startup and they also use machine learning and mobile apps uh, to help farmers in India actually. And I thought it was really cool how they're using machine learning to kind of target this underserved community. And I was like, how can I, how can I apply that in my own backyard, right? right? So here in California, one of the big farm issues is um, noxious weed. So I was like, maybe this could be a cool solution and a cool application of ML. And um, how did you find out about Technovation? Um, last year, I competed as well. I was, I mean, I love uh, software development, so I was looking for, you know, online coding competitions, and this just happened to be, you know, in my search results. So I'm super glad I found it. And how do you think Technovation has helped you improve your app? Um, I think uh, before Technovation, I was really focused on just the code, I, and I love coding, but I didn't realize that, you know, companies can't live by code alone. You have to really have a uh, a planned out business business model. If you don't have that, uh, no matter how good your your app is, you're not going to get you're not you're not going to have success in the real world. So I think Technovation really helps me uh, develop marketing plans uh, and strategies and stuff like that. And who do you think your target audience is for this app? Uh, currently, our target audience is farmers in California. Okay. Yeah. And um, so, how, where do you see this app in like five years? So our goal right I'm actually um, working closely with a statewide nonprofit called CalIPC. Um, so right now we're working to kind of revamp the, um, the app's mapping feature, specifically um, enabling this sort of grid-based system that allows geospatial data to be delivered out via API to plant databases. So we're really working hard on that to get that feature out. Um, and from there, we plan to expand across California. And I'd say in the next five years, our goal would be to take the app nationwide to, have, to train our model on more species and uh, just expand in general. And um, what advice would you give to like future Technovation participants? Um, I would <laughs> I would say start early because in the past two years where I've com uh, competed, I've often found myself you know doing a lot of things last minute just because I procrastinated. So uh, have an idea early and work on your app over a long period of time because they give you uh, several months. Great. Yeah. Um, so this has been Sydney Ho from Team Uproot. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host Sonia Tagare, and stay tuned for more. Oh, <laughs>